Welcome to Rams Iconic, presented by 1800 Tequila, the best taste in tequila. Please drink responsibly. I'm DeMarco Farr, and this is the podcast where we catch up with some of the most iconic players in Rams history. My next guest is a seven-time Pro Bowler. He had eight straight 1,000-yard receiving seasons with the Rams. In 10 years in horns, he finished with over 12,000 receiving yards and 74 touchdowns. He is truly (laughs) one of the greatest of all time. Please welcome Big Game. Tory Holt. What is up, big man? Chilling, champ. How are you, man? Uh, man, I'm good. I'm good. good. I'm trying to keep up with my kids. How about Me you? Me too. My, well, my <laughs> kids are out of the house. As we were yeah. talking before we came on, yeah, yeah. kids are out of the house. So we, my wife and I, empty nesters, and I love it. So when you were a rookie in St. Louis, when you were drafted in 1999, first of all, I read something. It said that you had a chip on your shoulder. You were drafted six overall, and you had a chip on your shoulder about what? Well, I was, I, I, what I was really most upset about was I didn't get invited to New York. Oh, you know, so okay. That, so that bothered yeah, yeah. me. Okay. And then, you know, I didn't win the Blitnikoff Award that, that year. I felt like I was the best wide receiver uh, in college football yeah. my last year of, of college football. And so I felt like I had deserved that award. I played consistently. You know how it is. It's, week yeah, yeah. in, week yeah. out against, you know, top flight teams. But our school, our team wasn't a national ranked team. So I think I lost some of the lust from, luster from okay. that. But I felt like I was the best wide receiver uh, in that year's draft. So that's I carried that with me my, throughout my entire career in the National Football League. I wanted to continue to prove or continue to show folks that I was the best receiver in that in that year's draft class. So you felt like, you know, you didn't get it. And I wonder now the Bolitnikoff people, I mean, sitting there with Tory Holt, you know, 12,000 receiving yards. Maybe they made the mistake. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Well, that was my whole point. I, yeah. tr- I was trying to yeah, yeah. prove to them that y'all made a mistake Yeah, yeah. by playing – Better than Troy and any other receiver that was in my draft class. I think I, I think I, when I was re- doing some stats reading, I think I outpaced my entire draft class to receiver position by like four thousand yards. Wow, it wow, was some, it was something sick. You mean career wise? Career wise? Career wise? It was yeah. something. It was something sick, man. I see. I thought I was the only one that did that. I oh. went back and looked. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Everybody that was drafted ahead of me, I yeah. went back and looked. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I absolutely. buried everybody except for like. Six guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Still mad about it. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, still mad about it. Yeah, you're right. See, now you got me all mad again. See? Yeah, you messed up. No, so you get to St. Louis in 1999, and we know this story. So there's Isaac Bruce. There's yep. a guy who's established. And here's Tory Holt we just drafted. How do you go about being respectful to the guy that's there and also saying, this is my time? Right. I, I think, for one, the way I was, was, was raised was always to respect those that came before me, even when I went to – my freshman year at NC State, it was mm-hmm. Mike Guffey and all those guys that I respected and Jimmy Grissett and all those guys that I looked up to and looked for, for guidance. So I, I carried that same mentality into the National Football League. But at the same time, I was very confident and very sure who I was as a football player. So I wasn't I was never I was I was never uh, intimidated or overwhelmed by Isaac or Ricky and those guys' mm-hmm. presence, though I respected uh, their presence. But I knew I was just as good. Wow. Um, yeah. And the best way for me to be able to do that was to go out and practice the way that I practiced, carry myself the way that I did, have the energy, the enthusiastic of playing football and playing the position. Um, and, 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 and that way, I knew if I did that, that I would get the respect from Isaac, I would get the respect from Ricky, I would get the respect from DeMarco mm-hmm. Farr, Todd Light, Keith Lyle, et cetera, et cetera. By the way, as a rookie player, I presented myself on a day-to-day basis, which was to go out Keep my mouth shut because you rarely heard me say anything. No, keep at my all. mouth shut yeah. and work and ball uh, and prove again why Coach Vermeil, who we're honoring this weekend, and Coach uh, Sanders, Coach Al Saunders and Mike March, why they believed in Charlie Army, why they believed I was the sixth overall draft pick. I wanted to come out and prove that to you guys every single day, and I think you did. I mean, we didn't talk much about you because we didn't have to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was one of you were one of us from day one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it wasn't this thing where we had to get to know you or get to like you. Yeah, he's here. He's going to be one of our guys. Well, yeah, my yeah. thing, De- DeMarco, was if I can, as a rookie player, if I can, if I can get somewhere close to Isaac and Ricky and Marshall in terms of their production, in terms of their mentality, if I could just get halfway there, we're a better team. Right. I'm a better player. So it was more about me wanting to get my level up to theirs to elevate 
our team. And I knew if I did that, then I knew I was going to be pretty good. I always felt disrespected way back in the day when they put somebody in front of me that I know I could beat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you put this guy in front of me? <laughs> right. How are you looking at me? Did you ever have that same thing? Like, wait a minute, are you kidding me? This is the guy you got trying to cover me right now? Really? <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> a lot, actually. <laughs> right. right. But that was the mentality that yeah. you had to have yeah. in order to be, to, to dominate an opponent, opponent or show up an opponent. Isaac them had that same mentality. Ricky them had that same mentality. Marshall, the list goes on. Isaac I had, was an assassin. Yeah. A quiet assassin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I had those examples yeah. in yeah. front of me all the time. So it was it was it was no way that I was gonna have or or adopt any other mindset. I already was driven, already was competitive, and I'm now sitting across from guys that have the same mentality that I oh have. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So I knew that if I just stuck with it kept my head down, just kept working, kept asking questions, watched the, watched the vets do it, keep working. I knew that I could do something really special with my career. See, we hung in. There was a group of us that came from L.A. and the guys that were there before you got there. So we always were hanging on to this Super Bowl nugget. We wanted to win so bad. Yep. We wanted to beat the Niners so bad. Yep. We wanted to be one of those teams. I'll tell you, remember they used to advertise in the NFL mugs, get your, your T-shirts, mm -hmm. your, your, your beach towels yeah, yeah, yeah. with your team's logo? They would never show the Rams. Mm. Yeah, they would show 31 teams or 30 teams but or 29 and never us. <laughs> it would just drive us crazy. We can't wait to win. We can't wait to win. We can't wait to win. So 99, we knew we were going to be pretty good, especially mm -hmm. after we got Marshall. Yep. This is when Trent Green was our quarterback. So we knew then, the guys that were there, we knew we were going to be pretty good or very good or a playoff football team. Yeah. When did you know in 99 that we were going to be special? <laughs> I, I knew I, I, it started to formulate in my mind that we could be really special when I got there. And I saw all the talent. I've said this story before and I saw all the talent. And I couldn't understand why y'all was three and 13, mm -hmm. four and 12. It's like, what, all of this talent, the makeup, uh, the competitiveness, the, the, the type of beings everybody were, the type of humans everybody was. I, I couldn't understand, you know, what that, what that, what, why was, why that was the case. And then when I got out on the field and the ball wasn't hitting the ground, and the defense was flying around. You guys were talking about how we were, how you guys had made us competitive and how yeah. we were making you guys more competitive in that environment and we were sharpening each other up. I knew then I said, okay, I don't know what we'll do. I don't know if we'll win the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl actually didn't even come to my mind. I don't know how many games we'll win, Yeah, but I know we're going to win some games. Yeah, yeah. Just because of the talent that we had and then how we were going at each other and how we were pre preparing to go out for war. Let me tell you a story. Okay, so we go 13 and 3. We get the first round by. We make it to the play. We make it through the playoffs. We're in the Super Bowl. It still doesn't hit me that we're in the Super Bowl. <laughs> it really doesn't. It does not hit me that we're in the biggest game of the year yeah. until we're in the tunnel getting ready to come out. Yeah. And I'll tell you this story. I'm standing next to Ryan Tucker of all people. Yeah. And you know, he's 6 foot whatever oh, yeah. he is. Tuck big man. Big dude. So I look to my right and it's his shoulder pad right in my face cuz he's so tall. And I saw that Super Bowl 34 like patch on his. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, man, we this, now. this is the big game. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. So when you see us running out and you see me with my hands above my head, I'm hyperventilating. Wow. Like it hit me right then. <laughs> this is the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. How about for you? And, and I would say for me, when we went out for warm ups, because a lot of us came back in because we had to get IVs because we had we had exhausted ourselves Burnt in warm ups. Out. Right. We were burnt <laughs> out in warm ups. I was like, right. Oh, this is different. Yeah. Like you can just you can you can sense the 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 atmosphere, all of the celebrities that was on the sideline and and you know, being in Atlanta and, and it was it was just like, whoa, this is everything that I thought it was gonna be. Because as a little kid, you know, you're sitting down and you're watching the Super Bowl, you see these eating nachos, these, yeah, yeah. You see this big huge dome and the inside and people are standing and cheering, lights are going up. It's like, wow, that's the Super Bowl. And then when we was out there warming up, I was like, wow. I'm at the Super Bowl. It's different. And I'm burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying? I went too hard. I, I went too hard in the warm-ups and had to get an IV to go back out. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I tell you what, I, that, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I exerted myself in that way because I, I never, I didn't, 
I didn't leave anything out there. I, yeah, yeah. I experienced it all, the highs and the lows of everything. being in the Super Bowl. Everything, The man. one you caught all off the your emotions. face mask. The one you – I keep telling you about this. I can see your smile from 50 yards away. Yeah. What went through your mind when you caught this? What hold went through on your to, mind when the ball was in the air? Hold on to this freaking <laughs> ball. I don't yeah. care how you have to do it. You better hold on to this ball because Isaac is looking at me. DeMarco is looking at me. The co- Everybody is looking at me to make this play. Hold on to the ball. Wow. And I was able to hold on just enough, put it right on my fast face mask and brought my other hand in to, to, to corral it and bring it in for, for a touchdown. But I had gotten beaten up the week before. Yeah, yeah. Playing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And they were hitting. Oh, yeah. they was hitting. Oh, they was hitting. Oh, they yeah, was hitting. Yeah. But we wasn't stopping, though. No, no, no. We got up off that turf and we got right back in that huddle and we came right back at them. It's just as they was coming at us. But, uh, but no, I was fortunate enough to have enough strength, man, to hold it there on the face mask, which is an iconic photo if Big you time. ever seen it. Um, but that's again. That, it was what was going through my mind was to finish the play, the Tampa win, biggest win of our lives outside of the Super Bowl because of who we beat. Yep. Them, you see Warren Sapp a lot, yep. Derek Brooks, all them. They're proud, absolutely they are, but they're not allowed to speak when we're around. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. can talk, but when we come in, the, the conversation <laughs> kinda, changes kinda, just a little bit. Kinda, just a little bit. Yeah, a little. yeah, I'm proud of that too. I'm absolutely, proud of because yeah, I mean, I mean, just think about. How we were respected offensively? Yeah, that's how they were respected defense. on the other side. Absolutely, and to be able to go out and to go toe to toe with them, pound for pound with them, blow for blow with them, and to be able to win that game. Come on, man! I mean, it puts a yeah. that certainly put a that certainly allowed me to buff my chest out a little oh, bit more absolutely. when I'm around them. They say, uh, "Yeah, we're Super Bowl <laughs> champions." Yeah, you got it after <laughs> us. Right. Yeah, that's right. After us. Yeah, you didn't go through us. Yeah, big time. So, how's the Hall of Fame weight thing going for you? I mean, knowing that you're deserving. It's weird. Right. Receivers, it's a log jam. Yeah. It's just how it goes. How are you doing with this Gracefully, whole Gracefully, man. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. you, you, I mean, we sit beside each other. I mean, you feel my vibe, I hope. Yeah. I feel yours. Gracefully, man. Yeah. You know, I'm just just leaning on my faith with it. Certainly, it's time. Yeah, yeah. And I think this, I said last year was the time. Here we are again this year. It's time. Um, but, the, you know, the voters have to, it's it's in their hands. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully, hopefully this year I'll get a, enough folks that are champion for me uh, for the right reasons. Uh, get the the right voters uh, and more voters to um, you know to to feel that I'm deserving and to get me across the finish line. It's crazy. I just we just I just thought of it. So yeah, you you drafted six overall and you're mad about the Belinikoff. Yeah. You deserved it. <laughs> uh, and here we are at the end. Yeah. And yeah, here we are again with the same thing. It's yeah. up to the voters. But yep. yeah, I mean, you, you know this. You're deserving. Yeah, uh, thank I you. I can line up a list of corners and safeties and coordinators a mile long, and they will all say Tory is of that cloth. Right. Thank you. Yeah, but just getting the gold jacket. What do you think that will mean for you when you be huge? Yeah, yeah. Be huge, and it, 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 it and it it'll be huge for me. It'll be huge for you, my teammates, my coaches, all that. Yeah. Have helped me get to this point to even be considered a Pro Football Hall of Famer. But it valid. It has certainly put. It was certainly put the stamp on that chapter of my life as a football player. I think back to when I was a kid in Gibsonville, North Carolina, just throwing the ball up around the neighborhood, throwing it off of the buildings, just dreaming to play sport, just dreaming to compete and to do it at a high level. Uh, ever since watching uh, Michael Jordan and David Thompson, James Worthy, Ralph Sampson, all those guys in the ACC, then going on and oh, yeah. playing in the ACC. So it, it'll bring back all, it'll, 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 it'll valid, it'll, it, it, will, it will validate all of those feelings and all those emotions that I had as a youth wanting to play sport and be recognized as one of the best. No doubt. This gold jacket certainly will serve as that. You, you you guys have made my life in the media hard. You, Isaac, Marshall, Kurt, Orlando. Yeah. Because when they talk about good offenses or good receivers or good left tackles, I, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you saw it daily. Right, right, right. And, and, and the thing yeah. that I love too, DeMarco, too, when you talk about those guys – and we saw them every day. They work though, man. Yeah, like 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 hard. Like, like God, we yeah. put our work in. G. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm being serious. If you were ever in the room with us, if you were ever at practice with us, and you saw how we went about it daily, we were professional. We was pros, big time. man. Yeah, yeah. Big so time. these guys are these guys are more than certain, more than worthy of being in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Man, you getting me fired up? Yes, All sir. Right, we do this thing and. It's on Rams Iconic. We do it every time. My favorite play. Did you just give me your favorite play with the catch in the Super Bowl? Or, or give me another one. Give me another one. My favorite play, I'll give yeah. you my favorite play was in the Super Bowl. The they brought the they brought the safety blitz. Kurt and I saw it. We knew if they brought the safety blitz, we had a slant that was a sight adjustment. He looked at me, I looked at him. Very subtle. 
I ran the correct route. He put it right on me, right on the face mask. That's my first, first. That was my number one catch. Being that it was wait, wait. It, so you looked at Kurt, and he looked back. Like we're seeing this. We're so, seeing what we're seeing. So we yeah, get yeah. up. We get up to the line of scrimmage. That's pre-snap, right? Yeah, so yeah. he's pre-snapping. He's looking and seeing what the linebackers are do. I'm looking. This and is seeing Tennessee. What the, this is Tennessee. So, so Curse is who back is known looking. for blitz. Yeah, yeah, Jeff, yeah. Uh, Greg Williams is known for blitzing oh, yeah. down in the red zone and some other stuff. So information <laughs> that we and some other stuff. Yeah. Some information that we knew. Um, and when that situation presented itself and as prolific as he and I was prolific as our offense was, he saw the safety come down. I looked at him. He looked at me. Okay, cool. <laughs> I ran the slant. He dropped back. The safety jumps up. He puts it right underneath his arm. Boom. I put my hand up, catches right on the face mask. Touchdown Rams. Is that that video where Phoenix is getting blocked when the he's blitzing? Yeah, and he he's gets, blitz. yeah. That's the one. That's oh the one. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So the safety, the safety, all of a sudden. And I'm sitting there, Sam, I'm on the line of scrimmage. I'm saying, is he going to come? <laughs> he better not come. If he come, I'm killing his man. And he came. Wow. Wow. And, we, and we made him pay. We wow. made him pay. So that was, that was, that's my number one. And then I'll go back to college. We played Florida State. Yeah. 17. 17-7 or something like that, fourth quarter. We call a timeout. Coach says, Tori, what you want to run? Deep post. The coach asked you what you want to run. What do you want to do to finish? Okay. It wasn't going to be no receiver screen. <laughs> it wasn't, and the ball wasn't going nowhere else. <laughs> right but to me. Right, right, what right. What do you want to run? Deep post. Wow. We ran a deep post. Jamie Barnett sets his feet. They give him enough time. He throws it right over the DB, right into my arms. We finish Florida State. Those are probably my two top. Memorable catches in my career. Absolutely gorgeous, no doubt. Give me that look real quick. I'm, I'm, I'll be Kurt. Give me the look. So, oh, I'm looking. So I'm looking at you. Oh yeah, yeah. What's so the, I'm on the line the of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah. And the safety is acting, yeah, acting as if he wants to come down. You're and on I, this side, okay? I, yeah. I, and I'm, and I say, <laughs> give, me, give it to me again. You see this? <laughs> do you? Do you do you understand what might happen there? <laughs> right. Don't and, miss. And, and, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> don't miss yes sir yes sir wow wow you know outside everybody else i think i might have been the happiest for well isaac number one that's my guy yeah. but seeing kurt go in yeah because of his story and everything uh -huh. else yeah. yeah yeah now kurt kurt's uh kurt's dope man he was yeah kurt worked at it man and kurt look good now he does look good man look like a movie he does, star he does look good yeah, yeah but all of you guys man i when we won that super bowl and i will now finish on this but when we won that super bowl demarco and I often tell you guys how much I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Actually, every time I see you, I say thank you and, I, and how much I appreciate playing with y'all and what I was able to learn. But to see the jubilation on your face, Brother Ray Agnew's face, oh my God. Kevin Carter, Keith Loud, yeah. T. Light, Adam Timmerman, Marshall, all of Orlando, all of the guys who had put in a lot of work to get to that moment and then to finally be able to hoist that trophy. It was it was so satisfying. We celebrate so January 30 in my house. It's no a doubt. birthday. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. That's a wrap on this episode of Rams Iconic presented by 1800 Tequila, the best taste in tequila. Please drink responsibly. Hope you enjoyed our conversation with big game Tory Hope, one of the all-time greats, the GOAT. I'm DeMarco Farr, and we'll see you next time on Rams Iconic. Thank you, my man. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our videos.